Mary Eliza Mahoney, the first African-American nurse in history to graduate from nursing school. May Eliza Mahoney was born in 1845 in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Her parents were free slaves, originally from North Carolina. They moved to North before the Civil War in order to pursue a life with less discrimination, racial discrimination. Mahoney was the eldest of three children. She attended Phillips School, which was the first integrated schools in Boston. Mahoney was, knew, she knew early on that she wanted to be a nurse. She worked at um, the New England Hospital for Women and Children, now known as the Denmark Community Health Center. She worked there for 15 years before being accepted into a nursing school, which was, she was one of the first in the United States. That was one of the first nursing schools in the United States. She was 33 years old when she was ex accepted in 1878. Her training requirements were to spend at least one year working in the different wards in the hospital. Um, she was that was so she could gain universal nursing knowledge about the different wards. She was also required to attend lectures and, be, and have to educate herself about like ICU and the burn unit, different units. Um, and she also had to listen to the doctors and find out, you know, what instructions they gave. And she was um, had to work several months as a private nurse working in, in separate homes. Um, when she, she completed these requirements and graduated in 1879, um, and she was a registered nurse. Uh, one of the first black to do this in the United States. After gaining her nursing diploma, Mahoney worked for predominantly white, wealthy families. For many years, she was their private care nurse. And she earned a distinguished reputation working with them. The families praised her they loved her. They, she was uh, an efficient nurse. Uh, they want, they would love for her to stay over and eat dinner with them and stuff like that. Professionalism helped raise her standards in nursing, especially with minority nurses, uh, the African American nurses. She was known for her skills and preparedness. Some of the wealthy families insisted that she sit and eat, and she'd have dinner with their family, you know, at their at their table. But she remained humble, and she'd eat with the workers, the people that she worked with on a daily basis. She'd eat with them instead of the family. As she, her reputation quickly spread um, with the with the prominent, predominantly white families. She um, got offers to work nursing in different different states in the north and the south, which was a shock because the south was very great, you know, they had high standards of their nurses. So for her to be able to work there was a shock. Um, her goal was to change the way that the families thought of minority nurses. She wanted them to see them different than as she wanted them to see them equal as white nurses. She wanted to abolish the discrimination of nursing in the nursing field. Um, being African American in a predominantly white society, she often received discrimination as an African American nurse. And she didn't understand why, because this was nursing. She didn't understand why people were like that in a nursing field. And she believed that all people should have the opportunity to chase their dreams without racial discrimination. From 1911 to 1912, she served as the director of Howard Orphan Asylum for Black Children in King Park, um, Long Island, New York. Um, and the how it was the Howard Orphan Asylum was a home for free colored children 
and elderly black uh, blacks. The institution was ran by African American and Mahoney was the director. And um, she finished her career helping people establish the knowledge of nursing the best way she knew. In 1896, she became one of the original members um, of the predominantly white nursing society of the United States. Um, she was, it's known as N-A-A-U-S-A-C. She was the first one to, first black to be accepted into this foundation. Um, and then later, later it became known as the American Nurses Association, the ANA. And um, that was, yeah, and she was accepted into that. And for a couple of years, she was a member. And in the 1900s, I, they didn't welcome her as much as they did because she was African American. So she was removed from the foundation. So in response, she founded her own association um, with help of other founders. She was a co-founder in 1908. And she became the co-founder of the National Association of Colored Graduated Nurses. This association didn't discriminate against anyone of any color and it aimed to support and congratulate the accomplishments of all outstanding nurses to eliminate the racial discrimination in the nursing community. The association also strived to commemorate minority nurses on their accomplishments in the registered nursing field. In 1909, Mahoney spoke at the NACUN first annual convention. In her speech, she recognized the inequalities of nursing, uh, uh, her nursing education and